Hello, and I'm Ryan Farrell with my partner, Joe Malagrana. And Joe, Cherokee, fresh off that 5-0 win yesterday against Winslow. How can Shawnee stop their momentum going in today's game? Cross, they do cross there it, and a hit finds the back of the net. Aaron Smith with a deep shot finds the back of the net and will put the Shawnee Renegades up 1-0 with 30 minutes left to go. Just cross it real quick. Perfect kick. And as we said earlier, Aaron Smith was seven goals for the Renegades last year. She was one of the players to look out for today, and she proved why. Yeah. I'm Ryan Farrell along with my partner Barry Harvey. And Barry, last time these teams uh, matched up last year, Zaire Williams had two touchdowns. How are the Renegades going to stop them this time? That's going to be a Renegade first down. Here they come. They're going to hand it off to Diorio around the left side. He's got room. He's in the open field. Rob Diorio at the 30-yard line. Tries to stiff arm, but he's brought down around the 18-yard line. So a nice run by Rob Diorio. Going to fake it to him. Pitch it to the left. Zaire Williams in the open field. No one can bring him down. He's going across the 50. He's got one guy to beat, and he's not going to catch him. Zaire Williams will walk into the end zone. What an explosive play by Zaire, and we've been talking about that all day. They drop back, looking to pass, throws it, and it's intercepted by Seneca. Here they come the other way. He's got room to run. He's got blockers in front of him, but he's taken down by the quarterback around the 33-yard line. And we're going to take it to a Cherry Hill Nissan replay on the web at cherryhillnissan.com. You're going to see the guy run right across the middle. We'll see who made the catch on the receivers to the left. He'll run it inside, and he's still running. He's going to the outside, makes a nice move. He's got blockers in front of him, one man to beat. He oh. beats him, and he's going to go in for the touchdown. Starts out up the middle, right you there. He takes three, a cut. Three right defenders there. right there. And then he'll take one more. Cuts, fakes outside, goes inside, and look at those two, three downfield blocks but he'll just do all the running himself. We're going to send it over to Ryan Farrell with the report. Ryan. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Colleen McDowell, who just got the Seneca record for pole vaulting at 10-7. Colleen, how do you feel? I feel fantastic because I've been working so hard, and I've cleared 10-6, but, you know, getting to the next level, that sets me up for 11 feet, which is my ultimate goal. I want to end this season having cleared 11, ending my senior year with a bang. So I'm really excited. She, I was watching Colleen, and she was so close to getting 11. I know the next meet, she'll definitely clear 11. Congratulations, Colleen. Thank you so much. Guys. My Farrell is down with our player of the game. Thanks, guys. I'm here with today's player of the game, Brian Lawler, first baseman with the biggest hit of today's game. Brian, what was going through your head right before that at bat? Hi, I'm Ryan Farrell here with the Shawnee boys soccer team. The team is working harder than ever this year to have a successful season. I had a chance to speak with Coach Gimney and Senior Captain Kyle Franks. Let's have a look at the team. Athletically, I think we're one of the best teams around. That's all from the Shawnee boys soccer team. I'd like to thank Coach Gibney and Senior Captain Kyle Franks. They look great this year. Best of luck from Shawnee TV. I'm Ryan Farrell. Back to you guys in the studio. Hello and welcome to Shawnee High School for today's South Jersey Group 4 playoff matchup between the Triton Mustangs and the Shawnee Renegades. I'm Ryan Farrell along with my partner Gina Santone. And Gina, the last two times these teams played, they both split the record one and one. What's going to happen today? Donnie De Virgilio with his high school career on the line made a prayer shot from the corner that was off balance. Let's see if the Shawnee Renegades can continue to win tonight. We'll be right back with the rest of today's game. Green pull-up shot, that one's good. Nice shot by Mumford. Great defense by Bud DiVirgilio drives, gets the foul, and oh, the basket! Oh, what a basket! And one opportunity for DiVirgilio. Wow. Unbelievable shot by him. Wow. It's Katie, and great job to Colin. And there's our next game. That'll be me and Scott once again, the girls and boys basketball doubleheader Cherokee Chiefs at Seneca Golden Eagles. Should be a great, should be a great matchup. And to purchase a copy of this game, please visit www.lrhsd.org/ldtvcopies. They take the snap, quick throw, but he looks deep. He's got McHale, and it's caught for the Renegade touchdown. Zach McHale catches that one. Fake outside to the right. Renegades again. They're going to pitch it to Rob Diorio. He's going upfield, and he's in. 
for the Renegade touchdown, and Renegade takes the lead with just under six minutes to go in this fourth quarter. So big play by the Renegades after that. Big catch by Sean Murray. Rob Diorio comes back and puts it in the end zone for the Renegades. Here comes the pass. They looking deep. He's got a man, and it's caught by the Chiefs, and it's a Chief touchdown with two minutes and 40 seconds left. Tavers makes the excellent play deep in the end zone.